Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Fobber Evil Extreme here. Here we are looking at all of the new mods that has dropped today on the 18th of June, 2024. But first of all, before we get into our new mods, as always, Tom's answer will be down below. But yeah, first of all, we're going to be looking at the update to the feeder mix of wagons. This is by Bartso V3, 39.36 megabytes to download, and what this is, it's a pack of seven feed wagons. And it's changed like 1.2, well, sorry, 2.0. And says after two years of mod being released, modifications is released in a completely new and better version. And it says, yep, yeah, seven new feed wagons has been added. Running FX 1000 HD being rebuilt, F double X 3000 HD plus, and Puma 17 HD refreshed. Fixing machine scales, complete new and Oh, sorry, complete new normal and spicular spic spic maps has been added to improve the appearance. So, first of all, you'll find these under tools, animals, and that. And yeah, we're heading towards the end. So, yeah, we've got pack of seven. And in terms of slot count, these are going from left to right five, seven, six, six, nine. 7 add 7 slots and if we go to our feed wagons yeah it goes to the mod itself there is nothing else so yeah essentially what it is is a pack of feed wagons all in different sizes and that so you go from small all the way up to your normal large sizes and going from left to right we've got the Rhino FX 5000 sorry 500 sim 40 horsepower requirement 5000 litre capacity and accepts everything. Next, we got the Lizard Rhino FXL 1000 HD, 50 horsepower required, and holds 10,000 liters. And then a very similar one, we've got the Rhino FX 1000 HD, and you get 10,000 liters, and there ain't really no difference apart from sizes between these two. Moving across, we've got the Rhino FXS 12,000 HD. 12 to 40,000 capacity, 50 horsepower is required, except everything. Then moving across again, we got the Rhino FXX 1400, 14 or 18,000 capacity, 85 horsepower required. Then after that, we got the Rhino FXX 3000 HD Plus, 105 horsepower required, and this is 30,000 years, this is going to be the largest of in this pack. And then lastly, we got the Lizard Puma 17 HD. Uh, yeah, apart from the big one, all these are relatively cheap now. So you've got a small farm net. So yeah, we're the 500 sim. What you got is different rims and that, different wheel setups. Similar one for this. And again, it's going to be pretty much the same for the first couple. Then however, moving on to the FXX 12,000. Oh, you've got your 12,000 or 14,000 year capacity. 40,000 is going to cost an extra three grand on top. Then on to the FXX 1400. You've got 1400, 1600, or 1800. And design, this is going to be at the back. You've got the pouring, or you've got the aprons. Depends on how you want to go with. And obviously, wheel, wheel axles, so you've got a double axle or a single axle. Me personally, I'll go with a double axle now, just a bit more stability in that. On to your largest one. Again, two wheel setups. And you got all your different brands and that. I like how it just goes like hop. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> uh, again, strikes there. And lastly, for the Puma and that. This one actually is actually quite nice and that because it's more shaped for square bells, like with everything else. Typically, it's like ram bells, but this is more square than that, a bit more tidy than that. I oh, get yeah, different wheels and that, Continentals, BKTs, Trailborg, Verge Lines. So yeah, let's hop into our little fence here. So yeah, we've got some cows and that. I'm just going to show you some of them, how these look now. I'm going from like, the large one here, I'm going to go about three or four, I think. So this is going to be the largest one. And I've got a cow pen here. Just to show the scale of things, so okay, we want tip side to right. Open the gate. I can see how this looks next. 
helps if you can drive properly in that. And that's how it looks whilst unloading. Not too bad, not too shabby. So we're going to move you out of the way. Unhook. Now let's go with the smallest one again. Like a lot of these, depends on what pens you're using that because obviously I'm using the base game handle pens here, but with mod ones and that, especially like some one that the mod cow bar we're going to be looking at in, in a bit. Yeah, different sizes does make a huge difference in that. See how that tips from the back. And there's no other options, but yeah, decent unloading that. So yeah, we'll move you out. And one I want to look at is the square one. So moving across towards the end, second biggest one. Second or for biggest, I'm not sure. But yeah, look you up. Just like left, right. And you do have an option for open and closing cover. Uh, so make sure that's all the tractor itself. So, so yeah. Oh, this little thing there, like how I little flaps up in that. So yeah, tip side right. Little bit. Oh, sorry, alright. Okay, it did work with tip side right. Okay, tip side left then. How that works like that, I'm not too sure. But yes, checking on our cows, how are they doing? Oh yeah, it's all plenty of space for feeding that. And yeah, just showing off the updates, because again, this is a nice little pack in that. And for what was it again? Yeah, 39.36 megabytes to download. Got a whole plethora of options. So yeah, if you can fancy using the normal psyching ones, wouldn't use something a bit different? Then by all means, feel free to use this. And obviously, you've got the option to turn on your mixer and that, if you wish. And for the large one here, for the Puma Nat, Obviously, you're familiar with how these work normally, Nat. I'm just going to show off the poop on that. So, head to store that. Ignore the mess in that. And, uh, was it this a four pack we'll be looking at later on? Yeah, pack of ten tracks for size. And I've got I left it running, so we'll deal with that later on. But, yeah, we turn it on. Like, see how it just goes, just turning like that. That is absolutely nice. And then, yeah, of course, you can put bells in and that. Let's just go show off some of these bells. So, we go to our silo over here, that. Or your shed. Hopefully, go for one of the large ones. So, yeah, there we go. Straw that. And see how that just turns it up. All you don't need to turn on that, there's only just animations and that. But yeah, overall, not too bad, not too shabby. Decent fill up rate for the short bells and that. As it's very similar for the other bells and that. So yeah, that was the update to the Feeder, feeder Mix Wagons by Barstow V3. And yeah, since it was a. <coughs> New update that. <coughs> Basically, a new ver mod version of that with some new additions and all that. I thought, give it worthy its own little mod for you and that. So, yeah, as uh, so feed Feeder Mix Wagons by Boxo V3. Now, let's head on to our new mods for today. Moving on to our new mods for today. So, first of all, we'll start off with the old post garage. This is by Young Sinek SM Modding, 7.99 megabytes to download. Slot count is 7, goes down to 1. And yeah, essentially what's this, also leave the help window open up. Yeah, little post garage and that, got the doors and that. No lights or anything, but yeah, it's a very simple shed and that. Or garage, I should say. Love the brickwork and that, decent 
textures and that, especially like the fade in this and that, how it's all faded in that. I do love that. So you find this under buildings, under sheds. 17 and a half grand, and as I mentioned, some slots goes down to one, obviously no color pad options or anything like that. Date maintenance of 15 bucks and that. But yeah, decent little shit, and that is the old post garage by Young Sonic SM Modding. Next. Now for the Barn Cow Shed, this is by 750Ti Modding. It is 20.67 megabytes download, holds 40 cows, costs 50 grand. Slot count is 42, goes down to I think 2 now, we'll have a look in a sec. But yep, very old and rustic little barn in that. Does have a bit of a low roof in that, so when you're putting trailers in here, as I've learned when setting this up, yeah, just be a bit careful in that. But yep, milk trigger in that is here, so milk comes out there. And the box is just over here. Your input for your straw and feed is just here. Open the gates. Oh yeah, I sort of like love these little additions and that, so... Obviously, what would that be? Something like for... I guess in like for the cows and that, like... Actually, I'm not sure what they'll be used for in that. I haven't seen those before in that, but yeah, someone knows, <laughs> let me know. But yeah, there's also a barn, and you do have a free bay barn in that. Not too bad, not too shabby next to the cows. Turn on the torch. I don't think this has got no lights in that. Oh no, it has in that. And light switch is just over here. So lights on. And what else we're going to do is turn on lights in, in the barn. No, I think there are those like night lights in that. It's moving across. Got another little door over here. And yep, yeah, so you got these lights here. But yeah, I'm not sure about these lights in here. I can't find a light switch. Ah, <laughs> just here now. So I was wondering where the light switches were and that. And that's one of the things that always gets me with these mods and that. But anyway, so you find this under animals, under cows, 50 grand. As mentioned, 42 slots goes down to one. In terms of capacities, it is 30,000 litres for straw and your feed. Yeah, left is running for what? Actually, no, not one. Yeah, left it running for about a month in that. So, yeah, already got 6,000 litres of milk, a little bit of surrey in that. And of course, there is no manure out, like manure silo in that. So, yeah, what you need to do is place like a manure heat down. Yeah, something like that and that. So, you know, get a bit creative and that. Of course, there's other mods and that. Swarm in your plates and that. Your heat's where you want to call it. That will suit this a lot more. But anyways, that is the Barn Cow Shed by 750Ti Modding. Next. From cows to chickens. This is the Medium Chicken Coop. This is by GamerHZSFSH. 4.5 megabits download. And it's like a very old, rustic chicken coop. Holds 100 chickens. Now you see on the bottom right, 6,500 years feet capacity. It is 18 slots and I think goes down to 1. We'll have a look. Yeah, it goes down to 1. 100 chickens and that. And yeah, so feed input is over here. Your egg spawn is going to be over here and do have a fair few spaces. So, it's like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 maybe pants and that capacity in that. Well, you also do have your door over here to your chicken coop. Expect it a lot more thorough, you know, right? Role playing, you know, clean up the chicken poop and that. But yeah, dollar box and that holds 100 chickens, as I mentioned. But yeah, it was like lovely like little textures and that little assets and that. The wear on the building is nice, and like how it's like all holds together basically by the bits of wood. So yeah, a very rustic kind of vibe, and I think that was do quite well with the cow barn we just looked at just now, but anyways, that is the Medium Cheek Coop by GamerHZSFSH. Next. 
Now for the field bomb. bomb. Now for the field bomb package. This is by Hell River H three L L R V I Z E R or Hell River Zero, whatever it's called. Eleven point eight two megabytes to download. And yeah, something a little bit different than this. Is. So first of all, let me turn that off, and that so it doesn't dull out the background. It's a pack of four sheds and that, four barns and that. Two of them are based for, as you see, field barn for hay. Field barn hay, well, field barn that for straw. Got field barn two, and that holds a thousand and fifty-six, and that is bells and pallets. And yeah, field barn three, and that is seven hundred and ninety-two net. So yeah, first of all, you'll find these under buildings, under silos. Oh yeah, let's go across. Oh yeah, got your four barns here. So yeah, we've got this one for just hay only. Straw on that. And yeah, slot counts for these are eight and eight for these two. Five for farm barn two, that holds your thousand and fifty-six. And for the one that holds 792 items, that is six slots on console. But yeah, not too bad, not too shabby in that, and yeah, that's how it looks when you put bells in. All the input is over here, output is just here and that. Actually, how do you access that? Oh, a little door there, I didn't, wasn't like, looking for that, so yep, all the take your bells out on that. So that is what? Three, six. 6, 12, 18 bells capacity in terms with the output. And for this one over here, that is 2, yep, 6, 12, 18 as same. So, yeah, decent bell space in that. And obviously, Cortis acts like little silos, 100,000 year capacity for each. So, yeah, maybe not much sum in that, but if you're running like a small farm in that, a hundred thousand liters is going to be all you need in that. But yeah, so just fill it up in that. Try to also trigger in that. Unload. And it just goes, yeah, fills up like a. Uh, what's it? Like a bunker sign that in the way in that. But yeah, overall, not too bad. Daily maintenance is five for everything. And it says all bell sizes are. Acceptable and ask to see where we can drive straight through this. Don't necessarily, oh, what's the word? Don't need to use these as basically silos and that, like you know, for your bells and that. You can use these as a little shit and that, store your vehicles and that. Same with this and that, pretty much. Obviously, you just don't have items in here and that. But yeah, that is the field bomb pack by Hell Rivser. Next. Now for the American Midwest Truck Stop, this is by ICAS, 9.18 megabits of download, slot count is 24 kilos and 21, and yeah, it's a little truck stop and that has, you know, space for fuel in that, so you can store fuel in here if you wish, holds 35,000 litres, it also has a workshop in that, you can use this to store equipment if you want, cold storage in that for your crops in that. But yeah, so it is on the medium side, so like for example, I've tried to put the sort of the axle flow 9250, again, same design for it. This is mainly for, again, normal tractors and that, and mainly it's a truck stop at the end of the day. That's what it is in the name of that, so oh yeah, it's yeah, just a little thing to be noteworthy of. But anyway, so you find this under buildings, under sheds. Oh yeah, 120 grand, and as I mentioned, sort count is 24, goes down to 1. Does come with 25 different colour options, as expected by ICAS. And yeah, just overall, awesome bit of work as always. You know, love the, like, the modding, the textures and that. Absolute beautiful. And well done, again, as always, and that, so... Head through the door and that. Fire extinguisher and that. 
I think there was a light switch over here. But yeah, the vehicle workshop trigger is here. Is that light switch over here? There it is there. Lights on. Lights on, lights off. Yeah, I can't remember which side it was, not that. Was it popping on this side either, is it? No. Yeah, it's just me getting confused there. But yeah, overall, that. Nice little bit of kit, that. Love the concrete slabs it puts down that way you place it. And of course, if you don't want those, let's see what it looks like when you just place it down free handedly. So, there we go, free placement. Alright, okay, fair enough, you still get the concrete slabs and that. I thought they were sort of go through the ground and that, but they don't. But, anyways, this is the American Midwest Trucks Up by ICAS. Next. Now for the free slider farm, this is by Mod Association, 25.38 megabits of download. And yeah, this is a one placeable item and has three items. It has a street trigger, a pig side barn, and a silo. So the silo is non multi fruit, holds 400,000 years. Then moving on. Got your pig sign out, and the holds 38, oh sorry, 36 um, pigs. Trigger that for your feeding is here now, so all you need to, like, you know, lift bells in, you know, use a skid steer on that, or a very small trailer, but to be honest, capacity ain't the hugest in that, so as you can see, short capacity is 6,000 litres, and the feed capacity is. Eight and a half thousand years, just looking at my notes here. And yeah, you'll find this under buildings, under sheds, towards the ends, and yeah, 475 grand. It is on the sort of steep side, that. But yeah, it tells you what it accepts and that, so yeah, corn, soybeans, and that, all good in that. And obviously, you've got your pig food and that as well. But yeah, if you head over to the house, over at the house you do have a seat trigger on the right and a wardrobe there on the left, so yeah, for a nice little farmhouse now. So they'll, again, an all-in-one item, rather than having, you know, separate buildings and that, maybe in a future update that could be an option. Also, you got a little outdoor storage area as well. But yeah, you got bays and that, so fill point that for the side of it is here and that. It is pretty straightforward and that. But yeah, so just looking at some of these doors, there we go. But yeah, again, yeah, maybe in the future update, you know, the house becomes separate. I think the pig site and the side of that, maybe you can get away with separating it. Yeah, I'm just going to close the gate in that. But yeah, you got things like what's like supposed to be like windows and that thing. I was ignoring the heat textures of that on the place when that was me placing it down. But ain't nothing to do with more, that is just me and that and the issues I've been having as of late with this map and that, with the save file. Maybe at some point I'll go with a new map and that, I'm not sure from my mod reviews and that. But anyways, that is the free side of the farm by Mod Association. Next. Now for the Mahindra 9125CL. This is by Minis Modding. 1.52 megabits of download. And this is designed to go with their Mahindra 9000 series tractor and that. But yeah, you can use this with other tractors and that by using. So go to our tractors and that. But yeah, what I used was not that one. Let's find a tractor with a front loader, please. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah. If you use, like, the quickie stuff in that, it will work just fine. But, yeah, it's designed for the Mahindra 9000 series. But it does work on its own, as I've mentioned in that. But, yeah, terms with slot cam, that is three slots, scoops down to one. Nice little bit of kit in that. So, yeah, let's go and drive into it. But yeah, so we've got the Massey here with the quickie option. And it does work, and that's a drive forward. 
and how it hooks up and that, how it looks. Even with the like quickie stuff and that, it doesn't look too bad in that. Aussie Ford tractor and that, it doesn't really look yet. Looks a bit out of place in that, I will admit, you know, with the phasing through and that. But yeah, let me just, actually, you know what? Let me swap that out a sec. So, there we go, that looks a lot better now. Well, of course, yeah, don't need a bit of a different colour and that, but yeah, that's how it looks, and I'm not phasing through that, especially that's a mini tractor I was using, and this is designed for the Mahindra, which we've got here, the 9000 series. It was last updated on the 18th of September 2023, not sure when it was released now, so a fair few months ago this was now, so a bit of a space now, like almost a year I think, yeah, 11 months and that, so yeah, back on 11 months actually, not when the update for this came out, so not sure why there was a delay now, especially where it had the option that, but yeah, I'm not sure anyways now, but Anyways, you'll find this, the front loader NAT, under front loaders, there we go, 5,000 to buy, yeah, it says require 50 horsepower, weighs just over half a ton, of course you've got the Mahindra red, and then your base colour pad NAT, but yeah, overall not too bad, nice little bit of kit NAT, suits a tractor NAT, so, again, yeah, you don't really see many, but, like, you need brands like Mahindra's and that, so just something I'll definitely win support in that. But anyways, I was going to give a little bump in that over this broken map. <laughs> this was the Mahindra 9250, no sorry, 9125 CL by Minus Modding. Next. Now for the Unia Grudy's ass PZ1-8, this is by Zimoff. 3.88 megabytes to download, and essentially what this is a 0.6 meter plow. So yeah, let me just get that straightened up here because yeah, must have knocked that over at some point. So there we go. Just get you hooked up. Let's go like so. Hopefully that works. There we go. That's a lot better. But yeah, a very simple mod in that. 3.88 megabytes to download. And yeah, I mentioned small plow that, so you find this under tools and plows. Goes towards the end, 550 to buy. And yeah, do you have different options for the hitch type of that? At the end of the day, it doesn't really affect too much what it attaches to that. Then yeah, got the additional small plow with or without. Next, you got the wheel shutter or scrubber, sorry, with and without. See, so yeah, so I still a bit there on the wheels and that. Cut disc be positioned downwards, positioned upwards, or without. Color options you're limited to reds, greens, blues, and greys. Well, yeah, let's go see this in action. Yeah, I'm using the wrong tractor and that for this, but anyways. Look up the plow. The lure set plow. Yeah, so working speed are five miles an hour. And wait a minute. Is it broken? I think it was either broken or positioned too high in that, but you can sort of see it sort of semi going to the ground. And yeah, the worker that's on the worker in that. And yeah, so let's see. Are we actually plowing that? So. Yeah, if we look at the plow state in that. There's nothing. I'm going straight across. Yeah, can you get rid of that, the grown states. And yeah, it is not ploughing at all. Let's try a small tractor now. So, let's go and grab... What's the horsepower requirement? 20 horsepower, so... Let's use the Zator Nat. And what I was going to do is... Reset that as well. Go to the store on that. 
So yeah, this is what I was more designed to go with than that. So yeah, let's get this hooked up and that. Oh yeah, there's a field behind us and that, so... Maybe it'll work now and that with a proper tractor and that. Yeah, I'm putting on great fields and that, and... Once again, it is doing absolute nothing. So yeah, I think this is broken and that. But I'll give it one more shot now. Look, a proper tractor for it, so... But yeah, I think the mod is broken, and for some reason, it's going to need an update in that. Unless it's like, because, yeah, so this is the attach attacher types now. The PZ1 is for the Zeta 25k, and the PZ18 for the Ursus and that, so... Don't tell me it's limited to only two tractors and that, come on. Alright, fine, let me get those two tractors and that, and yeah. Once again, bear me a sec with some technical difficulties. Ah, so yeah, that's just like me now, just giving up and that, going on to its side, so yeah. Bear me a sec whilst I figure out if this mod is broken or just a bit weird. Alright, so I'm back, and yeah, for the Zeta 25k it says, and the Ursus free, oh sorry, Ursus C 325-28. I can't find it on the mod hub and that, not the in-game mod hub, not online mod hub and that, so... Unless these are future tractors and that, which if the case then... Why in the heck release this then? Because yeah, I've tried it with a normal tractor and a suitable tractor and that. And yeah, I think this is broken and that, so anyways. That's the Ursus Cruzies PZ1A by Zimov. Next. Now for the God of Thunder himself, Zeus. <laughs> this is the Lizard Zeus 300. This is by Prismic23433. 8.68 megabytes download. And essentially, what this is, it's a 3 meter cultivator or 3 meter disc harrow. So you'll find this under tools, under disc harrows. Go towards the end, and it is 8 slots goes down to 1. 40,000 to purchase, 3 meters at 9 miles an hour. And you got some options for the rollers and that. So you got your tubular roller, your ring roller, packer roller, string roller, and back to tubular roller. Colors, you got blue, blue 2, blue 3, blue 4, and red. Something a little bit different there. But yeah, overall, first impressions in that. Nice and neat, nice and tidy in that. Well built by the looks of it in that. So yeah, we'll hop into our Massey here. So yeah, there's a cultivator, so... Got some fills over here, so... Obviously you got options to fold and unfold the disc arrow. Like that clonking sound. Now we can work the field. Okay, that's not working. Ah, there we go, so yeah. That must be, I'm not sure what that is there in the field, but anyways, I'll get sorted out when I start properly fixing the map. But yeah, overall, as I've just been ranting on, well, not ranting on, but waffling on, overall, it's not too bad actually. It does the job it's needed, and I want to see how it copes with a worker as it gets towards the end of the field, so. Get to the edge of the field. Rocket's gonna stop, raise the three point. Look how it just slowly rolls to stop, then rather than abruptly stopping. Okay, yeah, I'm missing with the worker that it's more of the tractor and that, but just want to see how it looks now. It turns with the width and that. Okay, so, so it does overlay a bit there, I think. What's that? Maybe a meter and that is going over, so. Meter, meter and a half, so. Yeah, something like that, I'll say. So, yeah, nothing to note there with the workers and that. But again, that could be down to the tractor itself. But yeah, overall, not too bad. So, yeah, that is the Lizard Zeus 300 by Prismic 
33. Next. From one disc camera to another, we got the Everse Toric. This is by Vertex Design. 18.49 megabytes of download. And what is this? It's a Soldier Spewer that does the cultivation as well. And yeah, it can inject the manure and all that between 10 to 12 centimeters into the ground. This tower is supplied with a tube roller as standards, 20 and a half grand, 6 meters working width, of course 240 horsepower, and it's only really capable of attaching to some story tank. So if we go into our tools and that. So yeah, 20 and a half grand. And yeah, it's suitable automatically to the film master and the premium integral 2000 so as long as you can find another tank that is suitable for this so yeah pretty much anything that lets you use a distributing cultivator nat will do the job just fine and yeah also I forgot to show off properly nat so but yeah either as now I think that's a new brand in that I think for a farm sim nat but yeah, no configurations. And yeah, it says yeah, it says 240 horsepower required on the mod up, but in game it says 80 horsepower, which is a bit more a little bit more reasonable than that. Especially we're considering 220 in that for the so ideally you need like a 300 horsepower tractor in that. And we got the John Deere 7R270, so we're I think we're a bit low on the horsepower side of things, but 7 on that. I don't know, 35 horsepower, we've got the upgrade engine that. So, we just hit the requirement between the two. 220 plus 80. There we go. Hook that up. So, with the cold sphere in that. Obviously, you've got an option to fold and unfold. Like how it just all folds up with all the piping in that. Also, I like how it just hooks up to the Surrey tank, see all the hoses coming out. Not too bad, so let's lower and then turn this on. Uh, do we want double application rate? Oh no, we've got position farming, so that should be fine. And yeah, we're putting digest it into the ground. Again, not the best field to show off, so there we go. See, we're cultivating that. And also, furrows in the ground at the same time. Overall, not too bad, not too shabby in that. And yeah, I think this is what, for the potatoes, I think it is. And yeah, it's just different application rate, of course. So yeah, it's richer than ass potatoes and that because I think that's what we got here, but. Usually you use a normal spreader now, but where we're cultivating, obviously something like this, you'll use this on a freshly harvested field, and when you're farming, you'll set the application rate to whatever crop is you're putting into the ground, or if you're not using precision, precision farming, then it is all fine in the end of it. But yeah, a new brand to farm sim, I'm pretty sure, at least for console at least. This is the Eris Toric, this is by Vertex Design. Next. Now for the Govel GFM, this is by Agro Design Austria. 4.18 megabits download, and note this mod is only a decorative item. Obviously, you can see you got like the foil rolls and that for it, you know, like the bell wrappers and that. And I thought, since that's a Govel, I downloaded or installed or enabled, sorry, the Govel DLC in that. Yeah, just sort of suit and matches up now, but we're primarily looking at this. And first of all, you find this under Tools and Miscellaneous. Go towards near the end. Have I gone past it? Uh, I think it was under Miscellaneous, was it? My correction, you find this under Bell Wrappers. And at 4,000 to buy. Slot count is 4 goes down to 1, weighs 250 kilograms. So yeah, here it is as it is, so on its own blank. Got lights, yes or no. Foil rolls, you got from 1 up to 16. 
and see how it all just yep yeah, all goes on. No additional weight or anything as well. Good thing to know. A uh, link or lower link balls, yes or no. So it has to be those little things there. Also attacher type. So you got your three point attacher or the EU Euro attacher. So of course, regardless, it's going to hook on find that. But if you want the proper hitch type for your tractors and that. Also for type you got your white, black, pink, green and blue. So it's going to show those off and yep. Yeah, at the end of the day this is purely a decorative item. But again for like role playing aspect, especially with something like this and that. You know, you just want to say once you run out of foil, you can grab one and that and yep. Yeah, you can use creative ways to remove one of these and that, and so on and so forth, if you own this. But yeah, so, actually, before we make sort of the role-playing aspect of it, so yeah, in terms of options and that, we can do, press L1, right stick left to right, tilts the rollers and that, or the magazine, and L1, right stick up and down, raises and there's that. Of course, you can unfold, and to lower this. So yeah, overall not too bad. You know, just grab one out, fresh from the roll. And then yeah, oh, of course again. Yeah. You know what, I ain't gonna bother with the beta, I don't think. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Haven't used the Google betas before, so... Ooh, very fancy. Nope, still unfolding. Now, can we turn it on? I know, yeah, it's a stationary one, ain't it? Yeah, wrong more than that, but yeah, with a normal beta, you see how it's supposed to go in that. Yeah, completely forgot about this and that, so yeah, we'll just ignore that. But yeah, got the Google GFM by AgroDesign Austria. Next. Now for the Lizard Tornado 550, this is by Prismic. 23433, 7.5 megabytes download. Essentially, what it is is a 5.5 meter tether net. So, yeah, you find this under tools and under tethers. Go towards the end, 12,000 to buy, and yeah, 12,000 for a 5.5 meter working width. Looking at base game and that, yeah, actually, it's above base game prices and that. And to be honest, if you got the premium expansion, might as well go with something else. But yeah, at the end of the day, we're looking at this, so yep. Slot count it is. Some slots go down to one, just looking at my notes there. Stickers, one, two, three. So that's going to be here, as you can see. Attach a colour, so that's going to be three point linkage, black or green. And then black and white for the protective barriers. So yeah, hop into our new horn here. Yeah, we'll get this all hooked up and give us a little go in the field, shall we? So yeah, we'll get us hooked up. Of course, you do have options to fold and unfold. Nice animations, not too bad. So uh, unfold and lower. Turn it on. And yeah, it does a decent job with our master swaps and that. Also. With three point linkage in that, it is how it has a little flexibility to it, so it's not a full on ridge in that. So, again, you may want that, you may not, depending on what you're using it for and what fills you're on in that. Because, yeah, I can imagine trying to like tear you know, a, a small lane of grass in that may not be the best thing, but for a field of grass in that, a field of grass in that, ain't gonna be too bad in that. But of course, yeah, if you're using this like an IRL in that. If you're using this, like, you know, a small backyard area, having that flexibility would make sense. Because then, obviously, prevents prevent snapping, and that has that rigidity and that, like, flexibility and that, so... But yeah, I was getting, I was getting a bit too above what the mod itself is, and just sort of going over the use case of something like this. But yeah, 15 kilometers per hour. Or what's that in Queen's English? I forgot what, 10 miles an hour? 9 miles an hour? Yeah, 9 miles an hour in, well, sorry, the King's units. But, anyways, that is the Lizard Tornado 550 by 
Prison Break 234 33. Next, for our final implements of the day, we got the Kuhn GMD 100 pack. This is by also Agro Design Austria, 29.55 megabits of download. And yep, so she is it's a pack of mowers. Just different working whips than that. So, under mowers now, go towards the end. So, you got the Kuhn GMD 310, so 3.1 meters, 280, 2.8 meters, and 240, 2.4 meters. Slightly different in weight. Horsepower requires between 31 to 41 horsepower, so pretty much any tractor you're using is going to suit this just fine in that. Yeah, 3 miles an hour working speed. And slot count for all of these is seven slots goes down to one. Just again looking at my notes, so may edit the gaps now as I usually do with this. But yeah, so configurations and that all exactly the same. You've got your Gen One, Gen Two Coon, and your Gen Three bit of more of a modern Coon than that. But yeah, regardless. I'm going to go with the bigger one here, so I've got the 3.1 meter here, if I got it set up correctly. Yes, I have. I yet yeah, got options to fold and unfold. If you're going to drop this or detach it, it's got to be in this position. But yeah, so anyways, fold it up. And yeah, I've tried to detach it. It says you've got to unfold it, so fair enough. But yeah, I'm going to lower set the implement, lower it down, and we are moving. That is a nice sound to it, actually. Ooh, that, yeah, that is very nice. I love the sound of that. But yeah, turn it off now, no other options than that. Oh yeah, it's going to be the same with the other one, just a small work with. But regardless, just go unfold and detach as I just forgotten as I what just said. But yeah, that is the Kuhn GMD 100 pack by Agro Design Austria. Nice looking mod, nice level of detail in that. And yeah, that is your last implements for today. And now go into the plethora of equipment stuff and that and attacher types and that next. On to our vehicles and related stuff. We're starting off with the Lizard Banshee 350. This is by Solutions Modding. 12.74 megabits to download. Some slots on console goes down to 1. And yeah, what this is, it's a 350cc ATV or quad bike. And yeah, you find this under vehicles. Under cars, 2650 to buy. Bit expensive for a quad bike, but Anyway, so we'll set up, we've got standard, big claws, small claws, back to standard. So yeah, the claws and that is the chonkiness of it, of the treads. Vinyls, we've got standard. Custom vinyls 1, custom vinyls 2, so got the America, Brazil, Germany, short metal flames and that. Little polka dots and stripes. Polka dots and stripes and that. Actually, not, yeah, again, I'm not sure what they're supposed to be in that. Yeah, I guess in like a parallel or something, I'm not too, yeah, I'm not too sure. But yeah, back to standard, handlebar, so your Renfro bars in that. Yes or no. Front lights, no or yes. Exhaust, go to the back. So you've got your standard. Default chrome, so chrome version of that. Custom and custom chrome. So yeah, it just depends on what pipes you want that. To be honest, it feels me in that. Nice short stubby exhaust pipes, that's what I personally love. Also, yeah, looking at that store that. <laughs> yeah, it's getting a bit sidetracked. You've got your, your suspension, your dry train in that. Absolute nice level of detail. Main cutter, so you've got a plethora of options. So that's going to change your main body. Chassis, so... That's going to change all the tubular frame, your foot sands and your bars and grills and that. Vinyl. So yeah, it's going to change your suspension. And yeah, let's go to our vinyls. 
So yeah, this, this is going to be your custom volumes 4, 5 and 6. So yeah, that little power button and all those little polka dots and that. But yeah, it also changes... Does it change the suspension? Yeah, it does. Yeah, just terrible checking on that. Not too bad. Seats and accessories. So, let's go with our typical hot pink. So, that's going to be like the netting, your engine casing, handle grip, seat, the outside cover of your grills and that. And, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, underneath that, you've got your battery casing and all that. And then, that's the you've got your rim colours. So yeah, changes all your rims, and that is it. So yeah, we've got two of basically the same versions here. Just one standard and one custom. Ooh, that little pop, 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 bang. I do love those. Lights, just normal and off. But yeah, just some that brings so many fun memories of me growing up in that. Oh uh, yeah, for example, I used to go off-roading with my old man and that, with some family friends and that go to like whatever fields were allowed on by the farmers before you know it all gets taken over by gypsies and that. Yeah, so many fun memories of that that just that little sound, that little pop pop. But yeah, it handles pretty well actually it does. But yeah, what I'm set up is a bit of an off-road course I do. But yeah, I think we've got some rough sections over here now we can test so I think by the cow barn here, it gets quite a bit bumpy. Yep, yeah, overall handles it pretty well. Yeah, it does have that tendency to nose dive, so let's loop around the melt or old post shed or whatever it was. Top speed of 62 miles an hour. The front flip! Ah, oh, six landing! Wait. 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 Okay, not quite stick landing, but oh, close enough in that. So let's just ignore all that. And yeah, here's our second one here. So actually, yeah, overall, not too bad. Four inch notes, so I think, getting on there, but you know, there must be just a glitch in the shadows and that at the bottom. But yeah, at the end of the day, nice little quad bike here. Love the nice level of detail in that. Does have that tendency to nose dive, which does make sense when you consider the weight distribution of it. You know, looking at side on, where our legs are, legs are in centre, so engine's slight towards the front end, so yeah, it does make sense it does have that again real world physics of it nose diving that. I get up again, the most fun memories are from flipping off quad bikes and that. Oh yeah, especially rolling over the handlebars and that. But yeah, anyway, remember the name to one side. That is the Elizabeth Banshee 350 by Sushi's Modding. Next. So here we are at the store, and that's because we got the Elizabeth 4 pack by Castan 18. 86.26 megabytes to download. That makes sense because we've got a pack of 10 tractors here. All different in horsepower between 76 and 96 horsepower and different variations in speeds. Very customizable. As you can see, you've got some like, different options here and that. So, all these are small tractors. So, on small tractors and that. And yeah, also, all of these are 23 slots on console. And they go down to one, so... Ah, wait a minute. Maybe, well, what was he was looking at earlier on that? The Ursus stuff and that, whatever it was. Maybe that's what's meant to be there, the... But yeah, anyways... No, that's by, uh, what's it, I... Plow that we was looking at earlier on that. But anyway, so... Starting off with, we've got the Lizard C85A. But yeah, I'm pretty sure... Well, C A C three A five, but yeah, pretty sure these are supposed to be like the Ursus and that. They do look like the Ursus tractors, just under a lizard brand and that. But yeah, so with a lot of these, depending on what you're going for, either you got your A five and A five A's, ninety two to ninety fours, one thousand to one thousand four. 
But yeah, all just like different models and that. So I'm gonna go over these two. And what you see for the A version, the same for the 904, 1004, 914, and vice versa for the other one. So under the C385, got engine setup, so you got your normal 76 horsepower, 70 miles an hour. An hour uh, weighs 3.9 tons. And you got a fast transmission, and all that does is just ups the gear from 70 miles an hour to 23. Wheel brand, you got Lizard, Lizard 2, 3, then you got your Continentals, BKTs, and Mitosins, and all that. So, yeah, under the Lizard Tires 1, you got your standard wheel weights, wide, wide wheel weights, back to standard. And yeah, pretty sure it is exactly the same, just different tre treads and that. And yeah, by the looks of it, these are two wheel drive. Decals got your type 1 and type 2, or none. Front weight, so front weight's got 100 kilograms, up to 500, including 290, 250, 180, and back to 100 kilograms, or just none entirely. Fenders, yes or no. Got your wides, extended, highs, back to standard. So that's going to be your rear fenders. For your front fenders, got type 1, type 2, or none. Mud flaps, so that's going to be these at the back. Got none, long, and short. Front lights, so go over to the front. Got your type 1, type 2, Type 3, Type 4, and back to Type 1. Roof setup, so you've got your Type 1, Type 2, so you've got some little lights. Type 3 is with the beacons. And Type 4 is pretty much the same, I think. The lights, beacons, and that. Yeah, it's all different variations than that. Type 8, so yeah, just different layouts of the roof. And yeah, 12 different roof types. Exhaust, you got it in the hood. Front side, or in the hood. Attachers, type 1. So that's going to be between the back and the front. So, so yeah, it's different in the three point linkages and that. And yeah, with and without the pin, I think, by the looks of it. So yeah. So one, it's got that little pin there. So yeah, it's different types depending on what you want to go with. Steering wheel, we've got type one, type two, so that little knob thing. Type three, type four, type five, type six. Try to get a better angle of it. I'd also slightly adjust as the seat position it does by the looks of it. And then, yeah, onto the hood, you got straight, cut off, and straight. Front loader attachment, you got none. Lizard brand, or none. Colors for your cabin, you got various of greys and blacks. Next, got your wheel weight color, so let's go with white. So, yeah, let's actually just go to our wheels. There we go. So yeah, back up to our wheel weights. Blue. Nope. That's the front weight. There we go. But yeah, so yeah, there's a lot of options with this. And yeah, I'm just going to go back up. Front weights. There you go. So yeah, front weights. Engine colour. So colour of the engine. And so it goes towards like the attachers to your weights and that, and the general frame itself. Body color got reds, yellows, and greens and that. Roof color again, you can sort of match it, it's very customizable. Grill, and yeah, I'm gonna go through that's why I'm not go through every option for all of the tractors because these are pretty much exactly the same rims. So yeah, that is the C385s for the C385As. 
The only difference is the attachments to the front and back. So, I'm going to type 1 and type 2. So, exactly the same. But yeah, with the type 3s, this is the addition of the three point linkage at the front. And yeah, so what we just looked at earlier on with the attachment types for the difference in how this looks at the back. Got this with or without the three point linkage at the front, basically. But yeah, so what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to get a, another one. So I'm going to go with the more powerful version because, yeah. 76, 76, and 96 for the thousands. Yeah, nine, nine, sorry, 900 of that is 76. So yeah, let's go with the thousand and fourteen. Fast transmission, wise with weights, heck it. And yeah, also, oh yeah, that's one thing I forgot is so these ones are the two wheel drive versions and these ones are the four wheel drive versions i forgot to write down my notes I only just remember looking at those now so yeah again that's the only difference is the attachment types and you got two or four wheel drive so i right, got my customizable one i've got here that nice little sound to it Horn. And then R1 right stick up and down. It does. Should open the hood, it should do. I know. I know that's the linkage on the back that is. So yeah, you can adjust the rear linkage up and down like so. Now, it's getting, it's getting that confused with another tractor we're looking at in a sec, or in a bit. But yeah, L1 next. Could Remove the hood, you know, pop the hood in that. So yeah, if you want to work on your tractor now, you know, broken down in the field. Awesome bit of kit. Ah uh, yeah. So yeah, we've already covered that. Yeah, just check if I'm not missing anything else. Mirrors they do work in that. Yeah, they do work. Not sure how good they are in that, but I think mean, they do a job in that. And yeah, with the fast transmission, all it does is it just shifts up the gears a lot quicker than that. Now if I go into one that hasn't got the fast transmission, so... Fast transmission, there we go. Got the normal C385 in that. So yeah, silk nips off for the gears alright, just the difference is the top end. Yeah, also didn't notice that, but yeah, three point the kitchen that. Flexes it does. Wait a minute, yeah, didn't <laughs> didn't notice that. You know you got these we got the white icon here and that. That proper flexes and that, like, that's proper neat stuff that is. Nice work cast down there, I didn't notice that first of all. But yeah, again, that's what I feel about cast iron mods now. Like, it looks so simple in that. But when you look at it in, like, in all of its all detail in that. No, turn the engine on. Yeah, you just see everything roaring into life in that. But anyways, that is the Lizard 4 pack by cast iron 18. Next. Now for the Valnet 1203, this is by AEN Design. 57.21 megabytes of download. And yeah, slot count, I <laughs> forgot to write it down in my notes, but yeah, slot count is 25 and 26 respectively in that. But yeah, so what this is, it's basically a Valnet tractor in that. Based around the sort of 1980s and half by the looks of it, I think. And yeah, it does come with the wind sound en engine, and it does also come with a complex pressure wave supercharger. And lastly, with this one here and that, what we've got as an option, comes with like an air compressor or air tank option that. But as far as I can gather, that 
It's just purely a, a visual only decorative item, but anyway, so you find this under vehicles and small tractors. Go towards the end. So yeah, you got your twelve oh three and twelve oh three dash four. Twenty and twenty five grand, grand respectively. Again, I can't really see too much of a difference in actually no I can, sorry. It's the drive. So yeah, twelve oh three is the two wheel drive. The 12034 is the four-wheel drive version, just to notice that. But yeah, when you look at the bottom there, it says, you know, fuel, speed and all that. But yeah, it says a like, fuel capacity and fuel type, air, and 4,000 litres. So, see, so yeah, that is the pressure air tanks and that. Yeah, 4,000 litres, but yeah, that's just purely a visual thing. Also, you got your attacher, so with or without the tow linkage. Front loader, lizard brand, or quickie, or none. We've already gone over that. Export options, so. Far as I can tell, it's just like the mirrors and a couple of minor bits here and there. So, you've got your standard, Sweden, Norway, or back to standard. So, yeah. Also, you got the, the triangle and that. And like the license plate as well, I think. Bit of Sweden there. I can't find a license plate out from Sweden. Is that the front? No, so not too sure on that. But anyways, front fenders, yes and no. Weights got 160 kilograms. Goes up to 640, so that's all into the rear wheels. Beacons. No or yes. Then also front weight, you've got half a kilogram. That goes down to, in 50 kilogram increments to 50 kilograms. Also you've got your 420s and that. So yeah, a huge plethora of weight options. Rocking lights, none. Front, rear extras or both. And then yeah, you've got your fresh air blower. No or yes, so that's going to be on the roof now. Like, I think that's like your AC and that, by the looks of it. Stickers, no. Rear window, so. Yeah, just that little valmet there, red thing there. On the hood. Or both. And then, yeah, going back up. Got your pre filter, so you got your cycling 2, cycling 2 high, cycling 1. So yeah, basically that is just your air, air filters, that is. Wheel setups, you've got your Nukians, Trailborg, BKTs, Continentals, Michelins, Mitres, Verschleins, and Matic Nukian. And yeah, pretty much the same as always, you know, wide standards and all that twins. But yeah, engine setup, you've got your 1203 and a home tune version, so 110 or 135 horsepower. Ah yeah, the only difference is the four driveness, so... Of course, I'm going to hop into the one that's got the four-wheel drive. Nice sound. Got your lights. Indicators. But yeah, this is what I'm getting confused with the other mod earlier on was the... Uh, amount of things you can do with this, so... First of all, R1. Right stick, left to right. That opens that window there very quickly. And L1, R1. That's on the front here, so L1, R1. Right stick, left to right, does the right door. L1, R1, right stick, up and down, does the left door. And then, yeah, how did this open again? Was it... No, not that. And I'll say L1, R1, left stick, left to right. Does like the flaps and that, so you can like proper open this up. But yeah, L1, L1 left stick, sorry, F1, F1 D pad does cover. And also you've got like, options that pops off the air filter and that. And you know, gain access to your engine that way and that. Simple horn at the end of the day. But I do love the sound of that engine. But yeah, overall not too bad, not too shabby. And yeah, that is the Valmet 1203 by AN Design. 
next. Now for the John Deere AOS, this is by Eway Modding, 6.92 megabytes of download, slot count is 5 goes down to 1, and yeah, essentially what it says, it's a very small old John Deere tractor. So yeah, let's turn it on. And it's already a little wind up, like, yeah, popping into life. That does have a nice sound to it. Two wheel drive. And yeah, only 18 horsepower, so yeah, even though it does have a ball hitch on the back, don't expect this to pull really anything with a load on, because I've even tried it with the smallest, well, uh, was a trailer you can get base game with some wheat in there, and it was absolutely struggling that. But yeah, no lights, horn. But yeah, just a little small get around, you know, move around tractor and act. I love that engine. But yeah, you find this under vehicles, under small tractors, go towards the end. And yeah, through the pack and that. Ah yeah, no configurations, options or anything. So yep. Yeah, 18 horsepower, manual transmission, holds six liters of fuel, weighs just two tons and that. Top speed of yep, yeah, nine miles an hour, and got the American TR-135 tyres. But yeah, very simplistic in that, you know. Also, steering in that. And that's you see the whole thing moving in that. That is just absolute nice, that is. Oh yeah, you've got four gears in that, so, you know, stick shift in that. And already in top gear in that. But yeah, very low to the ground as well, like, you know, very far out the back, I have very low to the ground compared to what you're used to, or what I'm used to seeing in that. But yeah, a very old tractor in that. But that has been restored in that. But regardless, that is John Deere AOS by EY Modding. Next. Now for the Lieber R960, this is by Kelly456, 49.16 megabytes to download. And what this is, again, it's by Kenny456, so it's a, another Lieber mod. Lieber mod, not Lieber mod. It's a crane of some variation. So yeah, starting off with, you got two different kinds of levers. you got the one that is this one here, which is the demolition version. And you got one that is just a normal looking one, so that's how it looks like normally. This one, if I say two six, if I drop the tree horse for a sec. Uh, can I fold this up? Like so. And detach you. So yeah, the uh, demolitions is just this thing here. Yeah, not too bad, not too shabby, and yeah, the demolition one is designed for the fixed arm one here. But yeah, if you want your typical excavator that kind of thing, then go with this one. So first of all, you find this under vehicles under miscellaneous, I think it is. But yeah, so you got R960 SME and the demolition. 260 and 210 gram respectively. Got the fast clapper or tilt, so that's just the all tilt and when you attach items, yes or no. Car protection, yes or no, an extra two grand. Windows tinted or no. Main colour you got the Libra yellow, Libra grey, and basic base game palette colours. Main colour two is gonna change the pistons. Some of the track bits and that, not, well not the track itself, the track, you know, well, wheels and that. Cab colour, so let's go with a green, it's going to change that. And then lastly, your track colour, it's going to change your tracks. Oh yeah, demolition one is pretty much the same. But then, if you go to your tools and other miscellaneous, this is where you find your arm. Along with a plethora of extra bits, so under miscellaneous, you've got your clamshell buckets and your universal bucket. 
along with a tool adapter that lets you basically once you've had this attached onto this one here so the either the arm or the normal R960 doesn't have to be one or the other it could be any one but yeah so it's you attach to any tailander wheel leader or skid steer tool and front leader as well and uh, yeah good forestry and yeah we'll have rest of your log grapples which I am not going to show off because I am absolutely rubbish at log grappling got your wood shears and then your wood harvester headers and yeah it does say under here if I go to the bottom of the model page it says the fixed attachments are also compatible with this with crane and that but yeah I'm not going to test that but so yeah we've got the normal R960 with the adapter that translator and yeah I've got this little rock picker and that as part of the platinum expansion that but yeah so if I drop that so with the adapter on L1 right stick left and right does that just as the oops, too bit too fast there L1 R1 right stick left to right yeah just as the header and that and yeah, just pivot in that as you wish with L1, R1. Then R1, yeah, again, it's more of the arm action. Go to the cab itself, so overall, not too bad, not too shabby. Fox intro that. Different camera options, different lights. So yeah, that is the same. And if we go to control group number two, that. This is where you get your cab options and that, so L1, right stick, up and down, raises and lowers the crane, or raises and lowers the cab and that. Ignore the left to right, it's just where I'm using the analog stick and that. So L1, R1, does that, does that. So yeah, really, the only cab one you can do is L1, right stick, up and down, just pivots where you're positioned in that, so good little bit of kit so yeah, show the translator and that and then drop that then I think if I say grab you okay let's grab the wood shears because I want to give that a go because yeah I'm, I'm used to you know the tree harvesters and that but yeah also with the tree harvester headers and that yeah, I forgot to say, with the tree harvester headers and that, there are 80 centimeter logs they can do, so you compare that to the tree harvester here. So, yeah, same as the rock does, so pretty much as large as you can go now, basically, wise. So, yeah, I was going to move you out of the way. Come on, shove. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the reason why I did sub, you know, on the test map itself and that because it takes forever to get anywhere in that. But yeah, I'll know the wood shears and that. Oh, it's something there. Yeah, it says you know you can do the wood shears and that, turn them on and off. But yeah, let's go to a tree set because. I am interested. So first of all, turn on in that. Yeah, just figure out controls in that. All right, so L1, R1, right stick up and down, does the jump in this. So yeah, I want to rotate you. Yeah, because I'm assuming with this, you cut them, like the trees are manually in that. So it's turned on. Again, bear with me a sec, I do apologize. Ah, right, so just, you know, pretty much cut them, yeah, just chop the trees down themselves. Fair enough. That is absolute noise, that is, like, sweet. <laughs> 
That is absolute noise, that is. And uh, yeah, got the demolition one here, so. I'll grab the tree cars from that. I can. But yeah, with the demolition, got the huge arm in that. So there we go. Just repositioning myself here, so. Yeah, now it's going to grab that tree harvester. But yeah, oh no, no, no. But yeah, when it comes to the all these zebra crates now, I am not the best person to show these off in the slice. Now, I'll give it my best, you know, best shot at giving it a good review now. that. But yeah, overall, so far, first thoughts now is nice. Like, yeah. if you're someone who knows what you're doing with all this stuff, then yeah, this is a good mod for you. I am just absolutely shit with this, to be honest. But yeah, apart from it's that, I know my limitations and that. But yeah, so, I'm going to say even the last one. I've still got two more to look at. I've still got the tools for the big cranes to look at next. And then lastly, the fiber dash chemical trainers. But yeah, once again, shove my way around here. Oh, you know what? Screw this. There we go. Just get you out of the way. Actually, it's only now, so the light's not hitting. But yeah, does this have the auto tree aligner and that? That you get with the, you know, the platinum expansion and that? I don't think so, but... But yeah, also tree horse and that, you can go from 2.5 metres up to maximum, or 20 metres. But yeah, I've turned this on, so... Once again, I am absolutely novice like this, so... Is there not... Yeah, just looking at the camera now for the... Trying thinking... You know, is there a camera angle for the tree header and that? No, there ain't, so... go, cut the tree down, but yeah, it's no auto alignment in that as well, just a thing to know, be able to raise this up, nope, and then yeah, cut the tree down, but yeah, again, I'm not the best person to show this off, just, yeah, if you're someone who knows what you're doing with this, then trust me, it's a mod for you, I think, personally, in that, it does look really nice in that, I love the detail in that, Yep, I know I'm only showing some bits off and that, but if we head back over here and that, a lot of it is self-expansionary, you know. Done a bit of testing and that, it does seem to work though. The clamshells, they pick up so fine. Okay, anything I'm at hand tested is the log grabbers and that, because again, I'm absolutely shit at grabbing logs and that, so... That's just a skill issue, that is. Not a mod issue, that is just purely a skill issue. But regardless, that is the Libra R960 by Kenny456. Next. Now for the tools for big cranes. This is by FS Minor. 2.72 megabits to download. I know I'm putting this in quite later on into the video, but yeah, it's really to the crane and that, so yeah, essentially what it is, it's a tools for the big cranes and that. And I went with the oh, was one the lever now by Ross and Mods. And yeah, what it comes with? It comes with a one. This is for the man bucket. So yeah, I'm trying to know it going there. Obviously, a lot of this is for role playing aspect, but I'm gonna try to use this for IRL stuff, and that or real stuff in that. So yeah, we've got the bucket. Got a sort of a lift space in that. Yeah, it says full hazard and that. 10 tons is the maximum weight load. However, try to get items on there. Isn't this you got to pick up an that? Pick up or small tractor and that. Otherwise, it won't fit. And then that's the, you got the beam and that. So, got a little tension belts here. So, you can attach this to anything. And what I've gone and done is, 
got something that is way over 10 tons and something that weighs 10.1 tons and that because that says that's a 10 ton limit what happens if you go over that so let's enter here and that so uh, for whatever reason it's not letting me enter that what that but yeah, anyways, your findings under tools, under miscellaneous. And yeah, slot counts is three for the basket, and then two for the beam, and bait. But yeah, in terms of colour options and that, you do have some colour options. Onto the bucket, and the beam, like so. But yeah, so what I'm going to do is show off the basket, so obviously this is designed for if you've got something in it, so there we go. Just want to get the correct camera angle. And yeah, basket is attached. And then yeah, press L1, then controller on that. That does open up the basket, but you can you know, enter in. Of course I'm doing this on my own, that, but... Yeah, so the design is, you know, again, role play whatever you want to do with it. Or just have fun with your mates and that. Oh, another option as well. But yeah, let's enter back in, so I'm going to drop that. Now to move across. And I think next we'll go and grab the beam, so. There we go. And yeah, just attached like so. So yeah, what happens if we try to lift a combine harvester in that? So raises up. I think Ross and Mods now this is by it's gonna try up to what the crane now I mean. It's gonna update this to have additional weights on it. But until then, how much does this weigh? So if I go to our own equipment and that. So this weighs 19.4 tons. I'll see how this is going to go in that. So, so pivot that. Combine is attached. Can we lift the combine up? Okay. Oh, okay, let's bring this close in that. So let's reduce the amount it does, you know, act like a lever and that, so, okay, we're just about to lift from the combine, there we go, and yeah, what happens if you go over the mark, so, so far, so good, I can guarantee this is going to tip at some point, there it goes, no, no, no. bring it back in, bring it back in, there we go, there we go, be a good crane. But yeah, the crane out by Ross and Mods and that. It's going to have some weights on it in the future. Because yeah. E Fair enough. I'm going to drop that. Now, for something that weighs about half the size of it, so. There we go. There we go, so. Yeah, 10 ton limit in that, so I can see why there is that 10 ton limit in that. And this is 10.1 tons to be fair in that. And just to show it off, so yeah, 10.1 tons. And yeah, you can go full boom, I think you can. Oh yeah, we need to zoom out on that with the camera on that. But yeah, you can have so much fun with this. And yeah, then let's go. Timber! So yeah, what I'm going to do is fold it. Uh, rotate again, and then unfold it. Actually, you can fold it with the beam mat. In terms of the buckets or the basket, you're going to have issues with that. But anyway, so now for the base mat. So I'm going to unfold this. And once again, I'm going to grab it. And yeah, so this one also has tension belts in that. It's already tensioned down. 
So you get your fasten and unfasten your tension belts. And then, yeah, so 10 ton limit, not a problem. And then, yeah, you get very carried away with this. Oh, yeah, once again, a lot of it is to do with role playing now, whatever crane you're using that. Oops. I'm guessing it was intention strapped to in that, but. Anyway, just sort of see how it works now. Awesome bit of kit in that. But yeah, that is Tools for the Big Cranes by FS Minor. Next. Now for our final model of the day. This is the Fiber Dash Chemical Mix In. This is by BC Builder. 50.54 megabytes to download. And this is a. I'll say a bit of an intensive new mod, but. When you get down to it at the end of the day, it's pretty, I'll say pretty simple, quote unquote, depending on what you want to go with. In total, there are 30 items, and there are already traders, so you can like, prefab traders and that, so. Some of these stuff and that, like the traders and that, you can find these under the loaders. These are going to be the base traders and that, and these are all like the base game stuff. Along with some other things like the goosenecks and that, like AT Studio stuff and that. And the X2 flatbeds. On top of that, there are some miscellaneous items. So, yeah, this is where you'll find things like your cage, dash, and that. But, yeah, I'll explain all these in a sec. So, I think what I'm going to do is, for the sake of this mod view, just simple, go to your mods and DLC section, go on to the fiber dash chemical mixer. So, already we got three pre-made traders. We've got the 45 foot dash trader, 50 foot dash trader, and the 50 foot dash trader with a spear deck in that. So that lets you have the ability to put a spear on. Ignore the camera angle. Unfortunately, PC viewer can't change this and that. It's just how the game <laughs> just works and that. But yeah, then as we go along, got your traders and that. And with the traders themselves, you can just use them as a normal trader if you wish, or even as a bell auto loading trader if you wish. I think like the 50 foot one that will hold 62 small bells and that. Again, same with the goosenecks and that. And yeah, some of these will have like, tandem options and different kind of decking options if you wish. Going along. You got your cage, and this will increase storage in that for your pads and that. So, things like your herbicide tote on herbicide jugs and that. Basically, these are exactly the same, just a smaller quantity in that. But yeah, 24,000 for a thousand years may seem a lot, but I think. I'll double check again, in a sec, when we go and test this, but I think. That thousand years converts to like 20, 10, 20, 40,000 years of herbicides. Also, you can make liquid fertilizer if you wish. Moving along, we got your tanks and different kinds of tanks we've got here. Different designs and that. Color options. And then you got your strap colors and that. So yeah, you got more of a dark color. Then you got your transparent ones. And yeah, think things like the round ones are designed for like, the X2 beds and that. The goose and stuff, the small traders. For the larger traders and that, I personally recommend using these and that. But I don't see a reason why you ain't able to use, you know, other configurations. And at BCB you're on the model page, I'll leave a link to the video down below. And he sort of does a good job in doing all the different configurations and options. I think there's like 18 different configurations you can have with this. So yeah, first one we've got here is your bell trader and that. So yeah. Can unload your bells if you wish. L1, R1, that's all you can do. There's no like twisting or anything. And yeah, this is 82. I'm oh, sorry, not 82. 62 bells and that. And unfortunately, I'm using the Mac truck base game, which is absolutely slow. And I think it still has that grip in this issue it has. But yeah, so let's clear these bells up a sec. go. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to leave the bells as they are in that for now. I'm going to move on to over here. So, in this one, this is the 
one that was already pre-made in that. But I've just put this on your tanks that, so put your tanks and that into these cages and that, or stack them on top of that. And yeah, so see, it's got the dash 4.4, sorry, dash 4.4. You have to dash 1.4 that, but that's designed for very small farms, very small production that. And one thing I want to look at is this one here. This is one that I made in that. So yeah, very similar in that. So I see we've got 32,000 litres of water and 480 litres of the herbicide taint. So all you need to do is simple, once you've got your water and whatever item you wish, go alongside. And the important thing is, if you come out of here a sec, where the dash is, so the dash 1.4 or 4.4, where these hoses are here, these little valves and that, whatever you want to call it, that's going to be your off those site. Oops. So yeah, there we go, as I was saying. And yeah, I think I already, already misaligned this, so yeah. So what I'm going to do is hop into a drone here over here. And... Okay, first of all, we've got water in here already, so... Just offload the water in that, so... Next what I'll do is just back this up. Nope. Why is it unloading the water automatically? I didn't do this before when I was testing this and setting it all up and that. Ah, yeah, I think what you need to do is to be in the lorry. Yeah, that's it. So, theory, this should work now, so... All you need to do is just go along. So I did fill this up and that, and... And apparently, oh, what's going on here? So right, yeah, I forgot about. Oh, yeah, yeah, that should be fucking up there. Oh, anyways, but yeah. So now we'll go alongside, and then if we go to our lorry, we should then have the option. There we go. We've selected the dash nat. I see we are unloading. But yeah, so that 400 litres and that does translate to a fair bit in that. But yeah, so consume some of the water in that. But then as well, with this pack and that, with this mod and that, these tankers and that that you've got here, you can just use them as, a, as they are in that to transport liquids and that. Obviously, when you're making it yourselves, it, obviously, you can see it is attached to very specific and certain positions and that. Again, you can add stuff, you can remove stuff and that. I can tell by these little marked areas here, these little card areas. And what I'll do in a sec is go and build a, another one. So that's that. Now to... We go to another spur now. Actually, you know what? I think what I'll do is instead go to you, get the unreal capacity. And yeah, then we'll see how that works. So let's go over here. Because yeah, this has got a 35,000 litre capacity. But yeah, the problem is, when you're trying to use any other kind of tanks and that, that has the option to put water in, the water does seem to just automatically unload in that. Fortunately, there's nothing really can be done at the moment about it. Which again, it makes sense in that, because it, I'm trying to think from a modern perspective, there ain't that much you can do actually, so... We head back over. Make sure we're on the correct side. Because, yeah, with these dash trailers and that, you do have options to be on the left or the right hand side, depending on how you build in that. 
But again, there are just these three prefab ones already pre-made, so... So there we go. I know there are mixed scripts like that, so... That is blank. 35,000 in capacity, so... How much does that consume? So... From 2,000... And I'm just going to continue on until it stops. So what should happen next is okay. So that is 360 liters used, and that gave us 10,000 and 400 liters. So again, should be fine again if we try. Okay, I don't know why it's not letting us try to do it again. I think, ah, uh, that's it, yeah, I remember, um, that was it, yeah, sorry, just go from my notes to that. Uh, BCB did mention, again, it's in the description on the model page. In terms of each batch you can do, there is a unknown sort of gap between rinsing and cycling system of 15 seconds, so, uh, yeah, that makes sense now. It's alright should be ready to unload this again once it has processed but yeah what's that 680 liters for 20,000 liters so yeah we don't really have to worry about you know in terms with uh, what's the word I'm looking for but yeah in terms of the cost of that because yeah, 24,000 liters in that. It does seem expensive, but for what? 20,000 or so liters. Okay, I'll try to figure out how to unload this again. There we go. Nope. Why ain't that thin up again? Yeah, it's not, that's not empty, so... Again, I'm not sure why it's playing up here. Is that to fit up now? There we go. So yeah, it's, getting, it's just a bit of twi tweaking around in that. There we go. Now it's gone to that other pallet. And what's that? That's just under a full pallet. So yeah, it's about 40,000 litres. I yeah, you may think, yeah, 24,000 for 1,000 years does seem expensive. But in a way, you can use this as a production that does require a, another vehicle that, I will admit. But if we look at the prices in that, 24,000 for 1,000 years. But herbicide as it is, you can sell it. And yeah, somewhere here on the top of that. Where is it to? Because, yeah, you can make this as a mini production now. Like, herbicide at the moment, selling for 3,700 for 1,000 litres. So, 35,000 litres, that's well over 100 grand. So, you're going to make four or five, about five times the amount of money you're going to get back from it. So, yeah, don't need to worry about a thing there. And one thing I am wondering, can you sell... Now, that's all the artisan stuff. By the looks of it, you can't sell the, you know, the, uh, what's it, the dilution stuff and that. But alright, so, that's that, that's all the herbs like that, but I want to do solid fertilizer, and I'm going to show you folks how to build one, basically, so, first of all, go under traders, and also terms with slot counts and that. Trying to look for the pre. Is it under sprayers and that? I think it is, so. So, yeah, the pre made stuff and that are under sprayers and that. In terms with the pre made stuff and that, so the 45 foot dash one is 22 slots, and the 50 foot dash is 24 slots. And if I go back into here, in terms with your trades and that, these do vary between. 
4 to 10 slots on console net. For the cage, that is 2 slots. The Dash 4.4 is 8 slots on console. The Dash 1.4 is 4 slots. The Tote Deck is 2 slots. Water Pump is 2 slots. Uh, yeah, so the, the Water Pump, you're pairing out with something I think, like the Dash 1.4 and the Round Tanks and that. Uh, yeah, that can load water and other items and that. And the Herbicide Tote is 5 slots. The Herbicide Jug multi boy is 1 slot. The herb Herbicide Jug is 4 slots. The Soluble Fertilizer is 3 slots. Goes down to 1. And yep, yeah, all of your tanks you can see here are 2 slots on console. But yeah, so let's go and make a road. So I'm thinking, so well, let's go with a. 50 foot, um, yes, yeah, set deck. So, in terms of configurations and that, all we need to make sure is auto loading is off. And yeah, in terms of the whole manifold situation, so manifold there is on the right, with and without steps and that. Got a spare deck as it is, manifold with steps on the left, standard. But if you want the manifold steps and the spirit deck stuff, yeah, it's got to have that. So fair enough. Color options: got orange, blue, green, gray, gray two, red, blue two, white, yellow, and then your basic color palette. So you know what? I'm just gonna leave that. And in terms of what you actually need, so the Dash 4.4 NAT. And yeah, you do have different configurations in that of how you want to set it up in that and how everything goes together in that. So I'm going to go with a hose reel NAT. So something like that would do just fine. The water pump we don't need. Tote deck and all that, that's really just for storage in that. I think it's supposed to get away without it. Actually, no, let's give that a go. So, we've done the herbicide. Now, I want to do solid fertilizer. So, to get our solid fertilizer, to get your liquid fertilizer. And, in terms with our tank's capacities and that, I'm thinking, you what, know, let's just go with something like this. So, we can have up to two of these. And then, yeah, go to the store. And, yeah, also, in terms of loading, these do all work fine with the, you know, the tight handler and that, or whatever you, you wish. But, yeah, I'm just using a forklift. One thing, though, know, is be careful, because it can be pretty sticky, and usually what I do in this situation is just go... Just... <laughs> but on this side, it's just what I do normally. But anyway, so we get our two tanks. Spread those forks. There we go, like so. And yeah, they see those different marks here. So if I show these here, so one, two, three. Basically these are the attacher points. So I'm gonna go forward one and see if that works. So we will need a lorry, so let's go and get one least. There we go, get the Phoenix. So, there we go, that is on. Just slow that down. Alright, so it can't go that way. So it does have to be back then, I'm assuming. So something like that. That may come up straight away, it won't, so fair enough. Make sure it's actually on there. And apparently we're having some conflicting issues here and I just want to have a look at 
the picture of this because there are different options. So yeah, going across. So maybe let's go back a bit more on that. There we go. See now we'll attach, and because I've got to move these forks, that's going to happen. So what we're just going to do is a cheeky reset. There we go. And now, importantly, we need to dash 4.4 on, so... There we go. So that needs to go on its side, so... You can put, you know, your storage net at the front, so I think that's what I'm going to do first of all. Let's put a couple of these on. So, something like that. There we go. Cage is on. But yeah, what I'm going to do is put another tank on the front. See how many more of these fibre cages and all that I can put on. And then yeah, we'll put the dash on. I think we can put one more cage on before we need to put the fibre dash on. And then yeah, I'll just get these sewed up. Fortunately these aren't visible, so very sick what I get is all finished up. It's so, alright, yeah, didn't get too far now, yeah, just struggling to get stuff in that, but, yeah, one thing to know as well is when it comes to setting up the trains and that and building it yourself, if for whatever reason you're having issues with it fitting, try to like, drive forward and back a little bit with it, just on it. If that doesn't work, then the best we can do is rotate it 180 degrees. It's more so for the cages and that, but... Yeah, even with the fibre pumping out, if you have any issues with that, that it would be my recommendation. Oh yeah, now let's just go and unload this. So, we've got 150 litres of soluble fertiliser. And let's just see how much that on its own could yield us, because how much did that cost in the end? 9,600. Something's telling me that we're going to make our money back, no problem with that. So yeah, we just had it. Yeah, there we go. Ultra soluble fertilizer. And how much was that? So, that was all of it. For 6,000 litres, so... 6,000 litres, and how much did that cost us? 9,600, so that ain't too shabby because, once again, also, let's put even on like normal economy in that. Go to your liquid fertilizer. At the moment, set it for about, what, 2 grand for a thousand litre, so 12 grand or so, 12, 13 grand. So, yeah, again, that's what I'm saying, these could be like mini production on wheels, you know? But as well, at the end of the day, you can use these as transport liquids if you wish. And uh, if you want to save all the hassle of loading up then, or building your own one, then yeah, personally I recommend is just get one of the pre-built ones and that, like any of these would do just fine. And yeah, so yeah, you can the camera angle a bit with it if you want. But yeah, the reason why you have these storage items and that, so if we go over here, yeah, it's really just to store your pallets and that. Oh yeah, I think it's like the war pump and that, as I mentioned. Yeah, I think uh, BCP and that showed it off quite well on one of his pictures and that, or his YouTube video is. You know, you can have something like the war pump with one of these war tanks. And you know, simulate like feeding water now, supply water to local farms and that, whatever. But yeah, so you do have a huge plethora of options, and to be honest, I think that is it for everything. I know this section here is going to be a bit iffy now, I do apologise. Oh no, yeah, I've got one item as well, the community well, so if you want free water on that, again, another decent water supply. There you go, you've got the community well. And just out of curiosity, how much, or oh sorry, not how much, how fast does it fill up? So, got our unknown tanker here, Matt. 
So first of all, let's get rid of all that we've got. There we go. And yeah, so we'll see how much we are potentially getting in a second. So, fill up. Overall, not too bad on that, I'll see. Yeah, see, I absolutely cost nothing. I think that's what? F five seconds for 2,000 litres? So, yeah, it's not the fastest, but it's not the slowest. And at the end of the day, it's a well, free water, so. What you can ask for at the end of the day. But overall, that is all of our mods for the 18th of June. This has taken me hours to set up everything, and yep. Absolutely tired now, it is ugh, lovely. 20 past uh, midnight that. I want to get this editing that quickly as possible, so then I can go to bed, get up for work at about 5 o'clock, and then release this before I go to work and that. But anyways, as always, hope you found this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form. If so, smash the button, feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider but for you to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, it's me former Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.